Now, once you understand the concept of sections within Microsoft Word, you can have much more useful uh, headers and footers in a long document. I'm going to click on the home page here and I'm going to click on show hide so I can see the uh, hidden characters. And if I move down here, you can see there's a section break here that forces the next item onto an odd page. And sure enough, there it is. And this is chapter one. If I go down here, at the end of chapter one, there's a section break that forces the next item onto an odd page. And there we are, we've got chapter two. And if we scroll down here, at the end of that chapter, we've got another section break. So as you can see, this document's already been pre-formatted to contain section breaks. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click in this area up here within um, section two, which is chapter one, and I'm gonna type in the name of the chapter. Now in this case, it's not a very interesting chapter name, but it kind of illustrates the idea. So there we are, we've got chapter one um, relating to chapter one here. Now if I scroll down the document, um, I could go to the next section, but an easy way of doing this is, if you notice up here in the navigation section, I can click on next, and that will take me to section three. Now, if I just simply typed in chapter three, then by default, that would be the same as the previous, which means we'd overwrite the, the chapter one. So basically all the chapters would say chapter two in, or two in this case. Not terribly useful. So what I can do is, you see where it says link to previous? When I click on this, keep your eye on this bit over here. When I click on this, the same as previous item disappears. So now I can label this as chapter two. And again, I'll click on the next button to take me to the next section, which is section four, and um, chapter three. So I'm gonna type in chapter three, but before I do that, almost made a mistake there, I need to click on where it says link to previous, which turns off the same as previous. So now if I type in chapter three, whoops, that will apply to this particular section. And I'll go to the next section here by clicking on the next button. And this takes me to section five, which is actually chapter four, a little bit confusing, I know. And rather than just type it straight in because it's same as previous at the moment, I'll click here to unlink it from the previous uh, chapter heading and I'll type in the word four. And we'll go to the next one. So we're now in um, section six, which is chapter five. Again, you need to remember to click onto here to turn that same as previous off. And this is gonna be chapter five. Now this time when I click on the next button, nothing happens. And the reason for that is I've only got six different sections here. So what I've done here is, if we scroll up, you can see it. This is labeled as chapter four. That's still chapter four there. The next bit, the next section is chapter three. Can you see what's happened? I've got different headers here for the different sections. Incidentally, a useful shortcut is Control F2. If I press that, that takes me into sort of print preview mode here so I can see what's going on. Now, if I scroll up to the top of a document, quite clearly you can see that this one is called chapter one. And the reason that's called chapter one is because we started off in section two and by default, we allowed the same as previous. So if we go to the next section, here we are, we've got chapter one starting here. We need to sort this out in a minute because really you don't want chapter one showing up there because that's not really chapter one. It's just um, allowing it to take it, the details from the uh, next section. So we'll sort that out in a minute. So ignoring that, we've got chapter one here. And if we scroll down, we've got chapter two. You can quite clearly see that. And then that's the last of the chapter two. Then remember we had um, a section break that forced us onto the next odd page, which is why we've got a blank page there. So if we come down here, we've got chapter three, chapter three and the last page of chapter three. Then we go to chapter four. Then finally we get to chapter five. I'll just press escape to go back to the normal view. 
So in this case, what we really want to do is to remove this bit here that says chapter one in the first section. And there's various ways we can do that. If we just simply double click on this, what we can do is say, let's have a different front page. So on the front page, because I haven't typed in anything yet, there is nothing there. Um, so basically we've got section one in this case with no um, header because I haven't typed one in. If we go down, we've got chapter one in section two. And chapter two in section three. So it's a little bit confusing because in this case we've got different section numbers and heading numbers. But generally what you want to do is to do what I've done here, which is to have um, the first section there with um, probably a sort of blank he um, heading area um, because you don't really need it on the first page. As I say, if we, as we go down, that's now all been nicely formatted. We can take this a step further if we want because if you're going to print out a document, what you could do is have different headers on odd and even pages, not necessarily containing different information, but differently formatted. So if you think about it, really um, on the odd pages, you want the header to be aligned to the right, and on the even pages, aligned to the left. Think about it, you know, if you're looking at a book and flicking through, um, that would be a sensible way of doing things. So what I'm going to do now is go one step further and say, let's have different odd and even pages. So if we come down here, we've got uh, chapter one, which is an odd page heading. And we've got even page um, headers here. Now, at the moment, we haven't actually um, typed anything in. So it gets a little bit confusing, I know, but try this yourself, work through this. And you'll, you know, if you do it yourself, it'll become easier, I think. So at the moment, we've got chapter one in section two, and that's aligned to the left, which is what we want. If we go up here to the next, um, head, the next heading section, so this is um, the even section, the even page header for section two. I could type in something here. Do I want this to be the same as previous? No, I'll unlink it and I'll type in the information. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this to the left. Up here, I'm going to line this, and we don't want this same as previous, I'm going to line that to the right. So what I do is I just simply go here, align that to the right. So I've got chapter one there on the odd pages, aligned to the right, and chapter one for the um, even pages, aligned to the left. So again, I'll press uh, Shift F, I'm oh, sorry, Control F2. Uh, this is um, chapter one, and the odd pages aligned to the right here. If we go down just one page, it's aligned to the left. If I was to go in here and just put some page breaks in, so maybe it'd be more easy to see what's going on. Um, so I'll just put a couple of page breaks in here, which is um, control enter. So I've just inserted some page breaks. And now press control F2. And if we go down to the first chapter, you can see more clearly what's going on. So you've got chapter one, chapter one. This is what it would look like on the um, the even pages, and this is what it looked like on the odd pages. And as you can see, it just looks it just looks better, basically. You do the same. You could do the same with the footers. In the footers, you could put maybe page numbering, so that basically, on the odd pages, the page numbering maybe appeared over here, and on the even pages, it will appear over here. It just means that when people flick through the uh, the book, immediately, if you had headers and footers, you could have the um, header being visible there, and maybe the um, the page numbering down here is a footer also being displayed, so it's just easier to read and see what's going on.